Alright, hello everybody who's watching this video, whoever that may end up being. Um, this is just a teeny little thing I made today. I'm kind of proud of it. Uh, it's an incrementer. So basically, if you look in here, uh, if you've done any sort of redstone, um, if, like advanced redstone, you'll recognize this pattern here. This repeater that repeats back on itself as a, as a latch. Um, and then this mess back here is a XOR gate, which is used, um, got a chain of them, uh, it's, an in, it's the instant XOR gate design, I got a chain of them that function as an incrementer when you set this input to 1, actually if I set that to, if I set that to 0, uh, then reset real quick, and just, uh, alright, there we go. So, uh, these are a bunch of XOR gates connected in a line, um, which forms an incrementer circuit. Um, as you can see, the latched value, right, it loops back around, comes back here as the first input, and the second input, if you look at this one here, the second input uh, comes from, goes through here, comes through here, comes, it's, it's tapped off the side of this thing, which is actually the AND, um, it's, in logic, it's the AND of these two inputs here. So as you can see, these are both, uh, this is 1, this is 0, and so this is 0. If I make this, if I force this to 1, you can see the output becomes 1, because 1 and 1 is 1. Anyway, uh, so that, that forms an incrementer, basically just a series of half adders. Um, and then also here I have a nifty little, um, coming out the side of the latched value, uh, of, of latch is the, the value itself, uh, not subject to clearing cycles, uh, which is nifty. And then I also have, let's see, right here is basically, a, uh, it's a special kind of clock generator, as you can see, that kind of loops back on itself in a sort of infinity shape. Um, so it's a special kind of clock generator. Uh, this here is a pulse generator, or a, an impulse detector, so what it essentially does is sends a, an impulse around and around in a loop, and it's specially timed so that this line fires and then this line fires, this line fires and then this line fires. And so what you get, what this line does is this, um, it takes the value that's being pushed in here and then it latches it into the latch. And what this line does is it um, clears this latch here, I got a second latch. It clears this latch um, right and writes in the value that's coming in this way, um, which becomes the input of the next cycle. So as, uh, 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 on the whole, if I were to run this thing, it would just count upwards. Um, so let's do that. Uh, just let's see, make sure I got everything right. Hit the button to enable it. So that's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. As you can see, and this instant circuitry is really uh, it's kind of impressive. Um, and as you can see, aside from the delay of the lights turning off, there's no delay in the circuit at all. Which is really nifty, that's going to factor in, I'm, I'm designing a computer, um, and I need this for the program counter uh, to be able to step to the program. Um, so that's uh, that right there, that's my counter. Let me watch it run a little more. So that's 30, I believe this is 32. Yeah, 32, 33, 34, 35. It's pretty, it's pretty fast too, um, thanks to this, these instant circuits. Um, I'm just gonna turn it off for a second. All right. So real quick um, about how this XOR gate is designed. Um, the only instant circuits I use are instant repeaters, which are these, these guys right here are instant repeaters and instant inverters, which is this relatively more complicated pattern here. And um, uh, another gate, instant gate, I, it's technically a gate, uh, is this pattern here with the, with the slab. So if I pluck out a, let's see, pluck out a slab. This is really a nifty circuit that if you're, if you're not aware of this behavior, then um, well, it helped me a lot when I found out about it. So 
a very it's it's common redstone uh, engineering knowledge, uh, but still an incredibly it's it's basically essential. Um, a redstone signal will go up uh, in a transparent block, so that includes slabs and glowstone and a couple others. It it will go up but not down it. So this is nifty. Um, so this signal will travel up and then go out that way. This signal will travel up and go out that way. Um, but the signal will not go up and then back down to the other side. So it actually isolates the inputs. Right. And so this has the effect of being an instant OR gate. Uh, so you can see the whole design is just combinations of instant OR gates and instant NOT gates um, right here. So like you have the, um, the two inputs and then they get ORed and come this way to an inverter. So that becomes a NOR. Um, the inputs also go this way and they get inverted and then or again. We, we don't need to use the slab trick here because um, the, the signals really won't do anything if they go backwards. So you don't need, so this is basically an or gate here. So this becomes um, not A or not B. And so this is not, not A or not B right here coming out this way, which is A and B, uh, if you know De Morgan's laws. Um, and then another or gate out this way. So this is A and B or not A or B, right? So that basically is going to test if the two bits are equal. Either A and B are the same, or um, A neither A either both A and B are one, or both A and B are zero, right? So this value here is um, that's right here is saying if the two inputs are equal, which we can see right now they are. Um, so this says that they're equal, and then we go through one, an inverter one last time, and this says if they're not equal, which is basically what uh, the XOR gate does. And so that forms an XOR gate, and as you can see, we, we get all the gates for free. We get OR, AND, um, NOR. We don't, we don't get NAND, unfortunately. Oh, yes, we do. That's, that's this right in here. This is NAND, right? So if I make either input 0, right, you can see this goes to 1. That was wrong. Is zero, it's one. So we get we get all the gates. We get or, nand, nor, and, and xor. Um, I guess xnor would be this guy right here, uh, the equality test. Um, that's pretty much all the useful gates. It also implies, which I guess we don't implement. And I mean, technically there's 16 different gates, uh, but some of those are really boring, like. One's tautology, just always one, um, and those sorts of things. Uh, and so this is my nifty uh, incrementer design. Let's fire it up. Oh, I uh, got the disable signal still on. There we go. Go. Alright, thank you for watching.